all day, that's us, boo. Came through that new thing, see, I don't know why I trust you. Crazy now, I'm just too. Right, guys, so hey, it's Northside here, and today we're going to be doing a hands on review on how to use the Uniden e EZI33 XLT scanner. Now, this is a basic scanner. Cost me around sixty pound online. You can get it places such as Amazon, where as well I got this one from, and loads of places like that. Let's have a look around the product. You can see basic layout. You've got your three banks here, which you can save on. You can hold or you can quick search, so it picks up automatically. You've got your key, Swift keys here, and then you've got volume and squelch, and then your light button here. So just turn it on. Put your light button on. So you've got I've got saved in Newcastle Tower, Newcastle's radar frequency, and the director frequency. And as you can hear, the squelch I've got squelch on squelch on zero because I'm so far away. But if you turn it up, the squelch goes away and you get better better transmissions in. So basically, to tune these in. All you do is, is you search for your frequency you want and hold whatever bank you want it in. It'll then save it as a bank so you can always flip through to each one like that. So, as you can see, my aerial on mine is a it's a custom aerial. I got it got it online separately. It does come the Uniden does come with an aerial about this big black one, but for range purposes. I got the long one just because it, it's better for picking up aircraft in longer distances. It can fold and twist, so it's good versatile aerial, although you can get house mounted ones, etc. But I tend to use this. Comes with a handy clip on the back, so it's easy to put on your clothing and stuff. And yeah, it takes three batteries, I think. And it's all low, it's just a, it's a good handy product to have, yeah. So basically, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to take us up to the airport and I'm going to show you how to use it with the different frequencies and what settings are the best and stuff and so yeah that's just a quick overview of it I don't think there's anything else to cover it's a nice robust design other than that I think that's about it to be honest but um, I hope that's given you a rough overview of what the actual main thing is and is it some people might be asking is it worth the £60 should you get it I've had this for about half a year now and it's done me great. You can hear my videos, it picks up it picks up the ATC well, pilots and air traffic control. The only downfall about this is it doesn't get military banned, but that's when you're going to be paying it over 100 quid up to 200 pounds for a decent scanner. Another one of the higher up in the unit end range to get the military if you're going down to Coningsby or at the air show. But for just going to your local airport and listening to air traffic control, this is a perfect, perfect thing. So, I'll head up to the airport and I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Right, guys, so I'm up at the airport now. I've got my scanner out and I'm all set up. As you can see, I've got my Canon camera and my uh, Nikon video camera already in set up. And uh, I'm just going to listen to Newcastle ATIS now. So, I'll whack the frequency in, as I showed you before, using the arrow keys. And it'll just be coming straight on. And this is it now. Newcastle information. Acknowledge receipt of information. X ray. So here we have an example of Newcastle approach of a MiG coming into land. As you can hear, its call sign is Force 18. So here's some more footage to enjoy using the arrow keys, which I've done before. Force 18, runway 25, clear to land, 282 degrees, 17 knots. Clear to land, runway 25, Force 18. Are you ready for departure? Yes, sir, I'm F1529. F1159, 
Cheers for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and review on the Uniden scanner. Hope it's helped you uh, make a decision on whether you want the scanner, if it's a good scanner, I think it is. As you can see on the videos, it works very well, it's simple. It can only hold three banks, but that's all you're going to be really needing if you just spawn at your local airport and you're not doing military stuff, as I've explained. But, yeah, I hope it's good content, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, most of all, cheers for the support and just keep it up because... Everything's just going to get better and better from here. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I am. North